Toyota Go 2005-14. The decision to produce the cars was made on July 12, 2001, when the presidents of Toyota and PSA Peugeot Citroen, Fujio Cho and Jean Martin Foles respectively, decided to produce a small car to share development costs. This project was called B0. The Peugeot 107 and Citroen C1 are rebadged versions of the same car. The goes starting on the road price was €8,500, GB pounds 6,845. The main difference between the Go and its siblings are the badges, rear side windows, steering wheel and the easily recognizable front and rear end of the car. The planned production is 300,000 cars annually, 100,000 cars per brand. Sales began in July 2005, and the car was available as a 3 or 5 door hatchback. There were two engines available, a 1.0 liters 3 cylinder engine rated at 68 bhp. 51 kilowatts, and a 1.4 liters diesel i4 engine rated at 54 bhp, 40 kilowatts. The Go was used on BBC's Top Gear in a giant match of football, showcasing its maneuverability. The Top Gear presenters deemed the Go and its Peugeot and Citroen counterparts to be competent town cars. A modified Go was also used on 5th gear to perform a 12-meter high loop the loop on a specially designed track to determine if a stunt that can be done using Hot Wheels toys can be replicated in real life. The stunt was driven by stuntman Steve Truglia in May 2009. In January 2010, the Go was part of a worldwide recall by Toyota for a faulty sticking accelerator pedal. It was found that under some circumstances, the pedal could stick in a partially depressed position, or return slowly to the off position. The recall affected the Go, Peugeot 107 and Citroen C1 models built between February 2005 and August 2009. Information from Toyota later suggested, however, that only Go's with automatic gearboxes were affected, and that those with manual gearboxes were not. The Go received its first facelift, replacing the front bumper shape from the original, and changing the rear lights to a transparent appearance, from their original red-tinted cluster. 